Hey y'all, welcome to another episode of Booze News. I'm your host, Dylan Garcia. We're filming here at the Pizzeria. This week I've got Merrick Fagan from Trios talking to us a little bit about Amaro's. Or Amari in Italian. Oh, I stand corrected. So specifically we're going to be talking first about uh, a Fernet. Fernet is a subcategory of Amaro. It's going to have lower sugar content, uh, a little bit higher ABV. Uh, and hands down, the most famous Fernet worldwide is Fernet Branca, uh, produced by Fratelli Branca. Uh, this is a wonderful Amaro uh, that actually remained legal in uh, the U.S. during Prohibition because of its medicinal properties as uh, digestif and panacea. This, ladies and gentlemen, is known as the classic bartender's handshake. Nice, full-bodied, minty, herbal, a little chocolatey. Absolutely. That's good stuff. Fratelli Branca also produce uh, another version of this, uh, a little bit sweeter with uh, significantly more mint, uh, Branca Minta. It is also quite wonderful, much less bitter, a bit more of a approachable Amaro for the beginning Amaro drinker. Oh, wow. That is more approachable. Uh, just a little bit of chocolate in this, you'd have an instant grasshopper. Oh, yeah. Last, we're going to have some Braulio Amaro Alpino. It's really smooth and it's a little earthier than the Fernet. Yeah, it is. Uh, also, fairly bitter again. Um, this one is distilled with alpine herbs. Um, uh, even further north in Italy than Fernet, this is right on the border with Switzerland um, in Stilpser Pass. I think I might be saying that wrong. <laughs> There's a lot of consonants in that word. Well, thank you, Merrick, for coming in and teaching us all about Amari. You're welcome, and thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. Y'all be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next week on Booze News.